Hello, my name is David Finney and I'm a Big Fix Technical Advisor based out of Denver, Colorado. Today I'll be discussing installing the Mac Big Fix agent. The QR code at the bottom of the screen is going to prompt an email or you can see my email address just below my name. So as always, if there are any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Okay, so installing a Big Fix uh, agent on a Mac is very similar to the way you would do it on Windows. Uh, only difference is that obviously you're not going to use a .exe and uh, instead you're going to be using a .pkg. Um, along with that, there is one other change there, which is the masthead.afxm, which is uh, what is default from the Big Fix root server and is used normally uh, with you know everything outside of uh, Linux and Mac installs. You basically just take that same file and rename it over to actionsite.afxm. Uh, that way the PKG installer will pick up the presence of that license file and then it'll successfully do your install and get the uh, Big Fix agent pointed to the correct server. Okay, so going the manual method, this is actually an old uh, installer that I had built uh, actually when I first set up this Big Fix environment. So the first thing I kind of wanted to show here, so like I said, this is the masthead.afxm um, that I actually took from my root server. And uh, again, just to kind of show that over on this side, you can actually see where I got that. Um, so I, I took it from my Bez installers folder. Um, as you see, there's no there's no actual Mac installer, but there is a Windows installer. That's the file I took. Um, granted, it looks like it's been updated a little bit, but in any case, that's what I took and copied it over to this directory. Outside of that, I went and I grabbed an installer. This is the uh, older 9514, so I'm actually going to go download a fresh version of that. So I'm actually going to grab the version 10 items. And where I'm going to do that is actually off of this website here. And uh, so what you see, uh, the support.bigfix.com forward slash bez forward slash release, that gives you pretty much every installer you could possibly need. Um, just to match my environment, I'm actually going to be doing the 10 patch zero. And underneath the agent area, you will see the Mac OS X. So I'm going to go ahead and download that. And that is going to go ahead and place that installer over in my downloads area. It's on another screen right now, but I'm just going to drag that over. Perfect. Okay, so basically, kind of as it sounds, uh, you're going to just make sure that you have this masthead.afxm. I made a copy of it and just called it actionsite.afxm. This is the file that it needs to do the install. So if I were to create a folder with just the two files I would need, it would be this file and this file. In either case, I'm gonna go ahead and run this. And it's gonna be kind of your typical. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and let it go underneath the uh, drive there. Oh, apparently it's gonna have me use my Apple Watch. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it do that for its authorization. And we're gonna go ahead and let that happen too. All right, good stuff. So that's uh, finished installing. Um, so now I'd like to go see basically what it's up to. Um, make sure it's working okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna bring up terminal. Um, so this is the terminal on the Mac since we just installed it against the system where I'm actually recording this video, but that'll work. Um, where am I right now? Okay, I'm under the library. That's a good place to start. Um, First place I'm going to go is actually application support. And uh, since there's a space there, you have to do that uh, character right at the end of uh, application to actually get it to, you can get to the support folder in any case. Uh, let's see where we are. Okay, so I see big fix. So I'm going to go under there. I'm going to go to our Bez agent folder. Um, all right, so what I'm doing right now is I'm actually going over to the client log folder. Uh, just to actually make sure it's up, breathing, connected. We'll check it out, obviously, in the console as well. Uh, but in any case, I'm just going to go ahead and jump around real quick here. And whoop, i got to go to logs. All right. And uh, just so everybody can see that path, there's your path for the, uh, the Mac agent logs. Um, and there's the only log file since I went ahead and just created that. Um, a lot of ways you can open that log. Uh, I'm still a fan of I, um, so why not? Um, okay, so a little bit of information coming in here. This, this, these are some of the new lines actually being leveraged with uh, the later versions of Big Fix. Um, so our developers are awesome. So that's why we're seeing what we're seeing there. Um, okay, so it is registering to my domain controller actually. So that I've actually got a relay service set up there. So I actually picked that up and registered over there. And uh, yeah, definitely looks connected here. 
So this looks pretty good. There's a bunch of relevance lines that are coming through from the root server, so that looks fantastic. So it looks like we're good and connected here. Um, of course, you can go to the very bottom of the log. Wow, it did an awful lot during just those few, few moments there. Um, and you see that it was actually enrolling to some of the initial stuff for my actual inventory server scan. But in any case, it looks like we're good there. And uh, we may see a little bit of redundancy back over here on the console. Um, I'll close this here and collapse this wizard's area and go to computers. And okay, so just before I did this video, um, I actually uninstalled the, uh, the Mac client off of this system. I, I do traditionally manage it with it uh, through there, but Basically what you see here is uh, you can see the old version and the new version. So this one's never going to talk again because I, you know, dumped that client and put it over to uh, the new installation. So you will see that now uh, just in case. Um, I believe there is a client ID column that we can actually add. Um, or it might be actually a computer ID. There it is. Um, so this is, this is something I use to also just kind of help, you know, differentiate that a little bit, but you can actually see the, uh, different client clients, uh, client IDs actually associated each one of these. Um, so sometimes that's helpful, um, just to differentiate that we are in fact looking at two different computers. And again, this is the old one. Uh, this is the one that does not matter anymore. So I'm actually going to remove this from my database. Just get that out of there since it's, uh, sort of in the way, but yeah, uh, in a nutshell, uh, we've got our. MacBook Pro in there now, and we are able to start managing it just like we would any other uh, client in the infrastructure. Okay, and with that, that concludes today's session. Uh, again, thank you for joining me for today's session on Mac installations for the Big Fix agent. And uh, as always, if there are any questions, uh, do not hesitate to reach out.